TVU's receiver software has a tool to remotely test your input and output ports for troubleshooting or regular maintenance. In this video, we will cover how to test your receiver's incoming ports, outgoing ports, and NTP status in just a few simple mouse clicks. Please note that using this tool requires that you stop all currently running services for the duration of these tests. So before proceeding, make sure that you're not going to interrupt any live broadcast or important workflows by running these tests. To use the tool, click on the Port Test link on the receiver navigation page. You will see separate lists for the inbound ports, the outbound ports, and NTP status, along with their basic configuration information. From here, you can either choose to run some tests on individual ports or test them by group. To stop the current services on this receiver and run the tests, click on the Get Ready button at the top of the page and confirm that you wish to stop the current services and test the receiver ports. Now let's test all of our inbound ports at once. Rather than click on the test button next to a single port, let's click on the test all button for inbound ports and wait as each port is tested. This will take slightly longer on any ports that are not open or are blocked because the tool will try these ports several times. In our case, the test shows that all of our inbound ports are good. Now let's check our outbound ports, which we test all at once. And because these are outbound tests, they should go much faster than the inbound port tests. Let's click on the Test All button for the outbound ports. We quickly see that these all look good too. Now let's test the receiver's NTP status. Click on the Test button for the NTP status and we will see the diagnostic information for our NTP service. One key piece of information to look for is a very low value for our last offset and RMS offset. These numbers should be close to zero. A value of a couple of seconds or more can indicate that you have a problem and might want to call the TVU support team. In our case, the results of all of our tests look good, so we will restart our services to return our receiver to regular use. To do that, we will look back up to the top of the page and click on the Restart Transceiver After Test button. Confirm that you want to restart the server and you are all finished using the Receiver Port Test tool. 